uh, tickets to see Dave Ramsey, his show a week from tonight at the uh, North Charleston Coliseum. Maybe you got a little debt problem there you just haven't been able to figure out. He can help you. Uh, he's got a plan, and he's very entertaining. Yes, he is. Dave Ramsey next Tuesday night. Uh, and if you'd like a pair of tickets, email me. Let me know. TJ at WEZL.com. Uh, if you emailed yesterday, your name's still in the running. We'll announce more winners of that later this morning. Yep. All right. Uh, now, Rick, I, I didn't hear the entire conversation. But as I was walking by in a hall, I heard you say something you, about you were doing, you were friendly with a sheep on Rivers Avenue. What? what? <laughs> no, I said on a Saturday... I was driving up Rivers Avenue, and yeah. you know that stoplight right there at Target by the H.H. H. Gregg? Yeah. And then there's a Sticky Bones there. Right. And then there's a, uh, a mattress store. Right. Well, out in front of the mattress store, right at that stoplight, was a, sh- a man or a woman dressed as a sheep waving to people. And that got your attention? Well, I was the only one at the stoplight, so he was clearly waving at me. Mm. And I just... It what, couldn't have been just waving like Bill Sharp does in no, a parade? No, because while there was nobody going by, he wasn't waving. When I approached the stoplight and got caught with the red light, I was parked there by myself. He waved mm. to me. Mm-hmm. And then I waved back. And by the time I got to that next stoplight up by uh, Walmart, I, I felt ridiculous that I <laughs> waved at a sheep on the side of the road. <laughs> that sheep might have liked you. Maybe, Maybe it was... More than just a, you're the only one on the road thing. <laughs> no, I don't. Let's hope not. I think he was just being kind. <laughs> Let's hope it wasn't that. No, I don't. I mean, <laughs> Might have been a female sheep. You don't know. <laughs> Might have been. I don't. There's nothing wrong with waving at that do sheep. Do you wave at those type things? Sure. If I see you a mascot, do? absolutely. Because if, if I've ever been in a mascot suit and I'm waving, I want people to respond to me. Yeah. Not wave at that those statues of liberties that are all over town. Because I'm patriotic. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm patriotic. Well, I, I told you that story, right? That a couple of years ago we were riding down Remount Road and that Statue of Liberty was uh was standing out there and mm-hmm. Bradley, I think, was about eight at the time and he looked at that Statue of Liberty and he watched it and he watched it as we passed and then he turned around and he goes, I had no idea the Statue of Liberty was a black man. <laughs> there's a there's one up in Somerville on Main Street and every time I I go to the gym, he's out there right, right on the corner, right mm. in the traffic light. And when I catch the light, I'm just like you. I'm looking over at this guy. And what he does, rather than wave, he just, he's like pulling out six guns. He's, hey, what's up? He, well, know, they've man. all got their own thing. <laughs> well, you know, you can tell what Statue of Liberty, how fancy they are based on the area they're in. Like the one on Remount Road. They just threw something on that fella. But the one on uh, the, the Statue of Liberty that's in West Ashley on Highway 17, he's got a head. And, I mean, he's got a fancy outfit. There's something to be said about being a mascot. You, <laughs> you know? think? That's right. Well, you know, if you need the job, you need the job. It's, because it's you work. Can, you can be totally out of character than you I would normally rather, are. I would rather be in a sheep suit. <laughs> Then be one of those guys that's just standing there holding that sign on the side of the road at the corner at the intersection that says, you know. Going out of business. Yeah, or... exactly. And they pay them just to stand there all day. I mean, they're just in their regular clothes and stuff. Well, like the, Smoking uh... cigarettes and holding that sign or leaning up against, the, you know, uh, <laughs> asleep. And, you know. <laughs> the firehouse sub guy on Rivers <laughs> Avenue. That guy is the hardest working sign holder mm. I've ever seen. He is there. Every day without fail, he has his uh, Walkman on, he's dancing, and he almost he makes, makes you want to go in there. Putting on a show. He makes it is, entertaining. Man. I almost right. go in there and get me I'm a sub. I'm telling you, it's work. You, you, you just, you know, it just, it, it's what you put in it. It doesn't matter what the job is. It's what you put in it, you know? Well, I and that a, sheep was, was want, you just wanting you to feel good about coming by well, there, you know? I appreciated that. I felt ridiculous, though. Um, and I, I put that on Facebook yesterday that I waved at the sheep just to see what the response would be. And some lady said the funniest thing she'd ever seen was uh, the the sheep was on break at, when she passed him, and he had the head off, and he was smoking a cigarette. <laughs> just she was standing out there, half a sheep with a man head, smoking a cigarette. <sighs> I had a dream almost like that one time, but it was I don't think it was a man. It was uh, Gerald's is the place for tires and brakes. Gerald's carries.